Hi everyone, I'm Susanna Toop and welcome to this week's Market Update. I'm here in the brand new Toop Wellness Centre to bring you the Market Update for Thursday the 3rd of April 2014. Our Wellness Centre has well and truly taken off. We are already seeing a difference in energy levels and everyone is making a conscious effort to find their ideal healthy work-life balance. Following a market update held by domain.com.au and Dr Andrew Wilson, we can see that the Australian market is still strong. Sydney recorded an increase in median house price of $100,000 in just one year. Adelaide's not seeing this type of activity, but we have kicked into catch-up mode, which is great to see. Over the March quarter alone, house prices increased by 1.8%. Interest rate cuts have kicked in and Dr Wilson noted there's a sense of resilience in the housing market in Adelaide. Investors are no longer targeting one city. They're following the hotspots across Australia looking for great investment returns. This has been happening in the past, but the stats show it's becoming much more common. We expect to see a lot more investors flock to Adelaide due to the affordability and stability in the market. Here in Adelaide, right now, investors make up 38.7% of the buying activity. And first homeowners, well they're most prominent here in Adelaide and Perth. In Adelaide, they make up for 15.4% of the market. And this is consistent with Adelaide still being the most affordable mainland capital city. Looking at the rental market yields for houses, this grew by 2.9% and 1.8% for units across the March quarter alone. Yields are currently sitting at 4.9% for houses and 5.3% for units. Surveys show that in the last month, optimism is starting to outweigh pessimism in the market. Here at Toop and Toot, we've been experiencing a market that's been running hot for a while now. This is consistent with the domain.com.au stats. Their numbers are saying that the market trend in Adelaide is rising and it's the best numbers they've seen since 2009 and 2010. There is an increased capacity to pay as interest rates remain low and this has made a huge impact on the affordability in the market and we hope the trend continues. And that wraps up this week's market update.